Thanksgiving from all of us here at EA Sports, and thanks for spending time on your holiday with us here tonight. Always a special night. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. The Wild have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. The Sabres get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Campbell. The goalie's best friend comes up big again as it goes off the outside of the frame. So frustrating when you don't get the bounces, you just miss as that one goes off the pipe. You gotta wonder, you get the opening goal. The momentum's all in your favor. Stops him with the glove! There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Josh has great foot speed, and that's his wheel zone ability. Hashtag's got great technique and the athletic ability to backstop his team effectively. Those are two players I know I'm going to be keeping an eye on tonight. Let's see if one of them can give their team the upper hand. Guys, back to you. Along the half wall with the puck. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Cross is moving the puck through his own zone. Drills him. Oh, he got hammered. And look at this. He's, he's on his own bench. Well, at least you can take your time getting up when it's your own bench, James. Yeah, that's one. I'd be way happier landing on this one than the opposition. Minnesota's in now. Boom! He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. Oh, absolutely rocks them. Tremendous hit on the play, and that opens up some space. Receives the pass. Quick feed to Clifton. And he slides it quickly to Olison. Minnesota's got possession at center. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Norris looked as if he was gonna get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away and it goes the other way. Buffalo's got a hold of it along the wall. And he loses control here. With possession along the wall. Moves it to Granlin. Heads to the back of the net. Takes the feed. With the blast! Goes Sends a pass over. Levels him with the hit. Great use of the stick at center by Burns. Denied by Dubnik. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Shot! Close save! How did he get a piece of that? Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed. The Sabres will play it in their own end. Minnesota's got it in the neutral zone. Buffalo's got the puck. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Moves the puck. Sends it in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Blacks it into the offensive zone. Scandella's taking it from his own end. Here they come on the attack. The Sabres have it from their own end. Taken along the wall by Jost. Step up, step up. The Wild have possession along the boards. Scandella's got the puck in his own zone. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. And he slides it quickly to Cullen. Pass back to the point. Great read on the block. Gets it to the other point. And the goaltender to get a pad on that one. The shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. More than half the frame has been played here. The game is still scoreless. The Sabres win the draw on their own end. Oh, he hammered him on the play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. Power forwards drive lanes, and they drive bodies, and that one's perfectly executed. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. He scores! Number one of the season! That's got to feel good. You know that you're setting yourself up Anticipates the play well and gets.
gets himself squared. Right, Cheryl? Yeah, and I think this is a product of his playing the game differently and having a different mindset. They started the game, they were hesitant, almost as if they're playing just to keep it close and not to lose. You got to play to win the game, and they've really opened it up in the latter half of this period. Darlene stick handling in his own zone. Quinn's got it against the boards. Denies it in front. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Minnesota's through center and now in the offensive end. And he had the answer on that one. Slides the puck over. The Sabres will play it from the defensive zone. Great reach with the poke check by Suter. Takes the pass. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Rocks him on the play. Quick pass to Darlene. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Here's a short pass. Oh, a save on the play. Wow. Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Buffalo's got possession of the puck. Hashik's the competitor, and he is not afraid to compete for every single puck and outwill and outbattle his opponent. And that highlight reel save, it is something, James. Because just when you think it's almost in, he finds a way to get to that puck. Such an athletic goaltender. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Buffalo's ahead, 1-0. Off the face off, they take the puck. And he keeps possession. Minnesota's got it across the line. And he takes the feed. A little crash and a banging forces the turnover. Club save. What an incredible save in a high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. Minnesota's generated a lot of scoring chances here in the first, but they still find themselves trailing late. And they win the draw here in their own end. The Sabres move the puck in the defensive zone. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Dumps it in. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Michael's got it now deep inside his own end. Well, as a rookie, all you want to do is get that first one and get on the board. Oh, what kind of save wow! Oh, what a chance! He came so close to putting it in. James, I thought he had that one. If he continues to get to the net for that quick release shot, he's going to convert at some point in this game. Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store, and we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. Both teams had a chance to recharge, and the official set to drop the puck here on period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Minnesota's not going to want to change much within their game, James. In the opening frame, they held possession. They got their opportunities. They just weren't able to convert. They're going to have to do better in that category if they want to get back in this game. Moves the puck to Prosser. And now he tries to get it across to Champion. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Buffalo's looking to break out. Moves it quickly over to Silverberg. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. And now it's over to Skinner. Handles the pass. Takes the pass. Battling for it along the boards. Quick pass across to Prosser. Takes it across the blue line. Here's a chance. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Hoshik's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Buffalo's up one zip. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. 
Buffalo's got the puck in the defensive end. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. And there's a shot! Oh, fantastic save! Lightning quick reflexes! zone ability is that reverse hit he throws on incoming checkers, guys. He can lessen the impact of a body check and make them think twice about taking a run at him. Quick feed to Darlene. And now he moves it to Krebs. And he takes the feed. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Great hit on the play. He's a power forward in the... Oh, a little extra gravy on that one. What a snipe. James, this is just an absolute clinic and body position how to roll off your coverage. And it's perfectly executed as he doesn't have much time to get the one-timer off, but he gets his stick available and he executes. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face off. Burns works the puck in his own zone. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Buffalo's got it along the wall. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Moves it to Kane. Oh, a clutch save! Uh, he's dialed in tonight, James. When the puck is on his stick, he is a magician. He goes east-west, he can go north-south. And most importantly, he creates his own space. He does take it to the net, but this time the goaltender makes the save. The setters will glide into the dot. Buffalo's got it in the defensive zone. Dishes it to Paterka. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there! Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. Throws it in. Grabbed along the board by Ho. Oh, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. The Sabres take possession off the faceoff. Stopped by the goaltender. And a little body contact on that play. Pumped away from danger. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Sent into the offensive zone. Oh, a little crash, bang, boom in the corner. Listen to this place. How did he stop that one? A player should never be left alone in this slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We got a tie game. Michaels won the draw and they're on the attack. Quick pass to Champion. Here's a shot. Oh, close save and a beauty. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And a great read to turn that play aside. Hasek's been dialed in right from puck drop, James. I mean, he's made the key save that he's need to make, and it's all about for a tender managing the momentum swings of the game and the timeliness of the saves have really given his team an opportunity. Denies the shooter on that play. As a defender, you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control. It makes your life so much easier. Here's a shot! Stones him in front! Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Well past the midway mark of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Minnesota's won the defensive zone draw. Directs it on over to Johns. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Maintains control of the puck. Good hit. There's the collision, and look who's hit again. Well, he's been a punching bag tonight. The scores! Well, talk about a friendly beat right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the 
butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Sabres with the strength of that goal have gone up ahead by one. Two words, timely execution because they have not had the puck a lot on their stick and this is extremely frustrating for their opponent, James. But for them, this is an opportunity to turn the tide and swing the momentum. Comes up with a tough save! Hasek's a great goaltender who understands where the threats are and this one's in the slot area and he manages to get to position and make the save. Comes up with a monster save in front. Well, that's an unbelievable save. A great A scoring chance taken away as he flashes the leather and makes the stop. Minnesota's got to find a way to break on through. They've had plenty of shots on net, and yet they trail here in period number two. Koibu's won the draw inside his own end. And now he moves it quickly to Silverberg. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Pushes it across to Darlene. The Sabres are in transition. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. Turned aside with the club by Dubnik. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that club save. Buffalo's gained possession along the boards. Tries to get it to Cousins. Here's a short pass to Olofsson. Poked away by Cullen. Denied by the goaltender. Minnesota's got it against the boards. Can't get a hold of that pass. Big time stop. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James. And I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Well, he gets all of this one, and you know that players, they can shoot off one foot from behind them, in front of them, but this one's teed up perfectly right in his wheelhouse, and he gets all of it. Minnesota's offensive pressure has resulted in an equalizer here tonight. As an athlete, you always know the end of the period is critical time, and you want to maintain pressure, and you want to gain momentum heading into the third. That goal did just that. Moves it to the middle, and that's intercepted. Dish. I know I stepped on your toes there, James, but had to react to that massive hit. Moves it quickly over to Granlin. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Rocks him. Taken by Johns. Oh, great core strength to hang on to the puck after that. Picked up along the boards by Granlin. Let's it fly! And that got cut up in traffic and goes off a stick. And gets control of the puck once again here in the open ice. What a hit against the wall there! Burns carries the puck in his own zone. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Tries to feed it over to Skinner. Quick pass to Jost. Fires it on net! Great stop by Dubnik! Quick feed to Johns. Takes a shot! And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. And some good footwork to kick it away. Great read to break up the play. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. We are underway here in the third, and this could come down to next goal wins. Whoa. Sorry for jumping in, James, but that was a massive hit. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Dubnik. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well, and this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Michael Solvalone's zone ability comes from his confidence once he gets in by himself and finishes off the play by turning on that red light, guys. He's got the edge when it's just him and the goaltender. Puck grab by Prosser. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Puck gets loose. We'll get some flow again here. And he comes up with a stop there. Champions got the puck along the wing. 
Looks to set up at the point now. And that shot dies in traffic. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck. Scores! And the kid has his first in the NHL. Oh, that's got to feel so good. You always want to feel like you're contributing and you want to give a lasting impression, especially when you're new. This is a moment he won't forget. James, everyone on the bench exploded knowing how much this means to the kid as the rookie gets his first career goal. Well, a where were you moment in that household because he's got his first ever goal. And that's going to feel good. And it's a milestone moment, James. No question about it. It's his first ever, and there's only one of those. So you can expect that that puck will be somewhere on his wall, in his house, somewhere. And it takes a shot. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Minnesota's got a one goal lead. Here's a change. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. And now he angles it across to Silverberg. Takes a shot. He scores! Off the pipe and bolting the twine. Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. I just love this play, and it's an excellent read to get the exit, James. But it's a long-range breakout pass and getting in behind the coverage. That's the key here. Getting in behind, cutting the ice in half, and then sail into the offensive zone and finish it off. Minnesota's got the lead early in this third period. They have been a high-volume shooting squad tonight. Puck picked up by Gostas Bear. Moves it to Silverberg. Gets the puck over to Oposo. Handles the puck. Oh, he'll feel that one. Shot. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Burns has it in the defensive end. The Sabres scoop it up along the boards. Delayed penalty looming. Whistle blows, stopping the play. I recognize in the game that the adrenaline momentum carries you, but when you're traveling a distance, you gotta slow up before you make the hit. The Sabres will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Shooter's in the middle of the ice, is in the slot area, and he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Serving pass, and that's stopped. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Nice job to escape the zone. The Sabres get a hold of the puck along the boards. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Buffalo's got the puck against the half wall. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Buffalo's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick pass to Housley. Handles it along the blue line. They fight for it along the boards. Here's a short pass to Gostaspair. Takes a hit, but still hangs on to the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Moves it quickly over. Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Back, back, back. 
The Sabres move it ahead. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Pushes it across to Granlin. And that pass is stolen. Sends the pass over. Too much traffic in the lane. And the puck's kicked free. Here's a chance in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Oh, and that closes him off against the wall. Makes a save, cool and calm under pressure. Still lots of time left here in this frame. 4 2 is the score. Minnesota's going to start with the puck in their own end. Puck scooped up by Cousins. Slick feed. Hard hit, frees up the puck. And now it's grabbed by Darlene. Buffalo's across the blue line. Quick feed down low. Takes a shot. He gets a piece of it with his trapper. Nice play. Right Line through chain. center and into the offensive zone. And the puck skips away after a nice defensive deflection. Oh, tremendous hit on the play. Look at that. He's on his own bench. Well, a great catch by his teammates, isn't it, James? As he lands in the laps of his own. And you know what? There's a lot of laps going on right there. They're saying, man, you got it. You got a good one. Receives the pass. And that's intercepted by Gostas Bear. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Minnesota's third line is really showing it tonight. They're feeling it, James, and this is really critical. When you look down your lineup and you know that you've got kind of depth in that attack. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Turns that one away. Hoshik's going to hang on to the puck and get a stoppage in play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. Past the halfway mark of this period, Minnesota's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. The Sabres win it in the defensive zone. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Oh, spectacular save right there. Wow! Because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck, just incredible save, James. Pass across to Silverberg. The Sabres have the puck now. There's another hit, and yeah, they didn't like that. They're dropping the mitts. They have to drop the mitts. When you hit their star player, you know he's not going to fight. So who comes in? A physical guy who knows how to drop the gloves and win it. Well, a spirited scrap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking a thrashing. <laughs> I think you're right. Not difficult to see who won that fight. The W goes the road team all the way. Silverberg's teammates love setting him up for a signature one-timer, guys. That's his one-T zone ability, and it's Control of it now from their own end. Feeds the puck across to home. Buffalo's ready to go on the attack. Gets the puck in deep. Quick pass over to Silverberg. There's a firm collision. Oh, oh my, you can feel that from here. Well, that has to hurt, and he's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. Takes a shot. Club save there! Let's send it back down to ringside with Carlin Bade. Johns was very noticeable in this matchup, guys. He even got in on the scoring, and for that reason, I've got to give him the edge in tonight's matchup. And he slides it quickly to Jost. Dumps it into the Ozone. Suter's lugging the puck. Tosses it to Prosser. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck.
Minnesota's coaches have to be impressed from what they're seeing from their players tonight. All sorts of scoring chances, and they lead late in the third. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Sends the feet in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Minnesota's moving it up the ice. Buffalo's got the puck. What a hit on the play, oh my! Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags them, knowing full well that he's gonna disengage that puck. <laughs> Love it. Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're physical, and they know how to retrieve pucks. And man, can they deliver bone crushing hits. Olafson's taking the puck behind his net. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Oh, tried to put it in the corner and just missed. Well, there's a fine line between scoring and missing, and that's inches right there. A good release shot, but unable to get that net. We got a whistle offside the call. Here in the late goings of the period, we've got ourselves a 4-2 hockey game. Minnesota's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Quick feed to Olsson. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Here's a shot. They score! Practice makes perfect, James, and he's executing in the game because of it. I mean, look at the way he can move in tight spaces. He's got hands that can just dangle. And when he finds the back of the net, his opponent's just kind of looking at him. There it goes again. Oh, Buffalo's moving it into the offensive end. Oh, I thought he had the corner and just missed. Well, it looked like he did. You can just see that inside leg. Just a shot and a score! Oh, into the empty net, and that should probably wrap this one up. Yeah, well, it'll seal the deal, James. Insurance marker and a lot of fun as well. Goal scoring is fun, doesn't matter how it goes in, even if it is an empty net. Well, hockey is a game of inches that the pass isn't on the tape. If it's in your feet, all of a sudden you're fumbling for it, and that gives the coverage time to defend you. But this one, it's right on the money, and the goal is a result. Minnesota's effort has really impressed me tonight here, Cheryl. And after that, EN in the old statistical book only adds to the lead. Yeah, and it's going to be all but over, isn't it? You know, you put it in the 4 by 6 it's empty, and you know everyone just starts jumping because they realize they just won the game. Quick shot! You'll need more than that to beat him. Boy, this time in the penalty box is up, and he's got to get back to just finding his place within the game on the ice, and he gets a nice scoring chance right there that needs to give him some confidence. He can play physical, but he's also got to play with his brain. Minnesota's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. And he passes it up ahead to Krebs. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there! Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, did he get nailed. And we are all over with this one. Cheryl, I really like how this team stayed with it all night long. They ran into a hot goaltender, but you know what? They kept putting pucks on net, and... And it paid off. Well, it really did pay off, James. And sometimes you do have to stick with the game plan and really trust that what you're doing is right. Listen, they earn the possession time. They earn the ability to get the puck to the net. They need a little more net front presence, I thought, but they found a way to capitalize. Well, that'll do it from all of us here in the EA Sports broadcast crew here this evening. It is a time for family. And from our family here at EA Sports to yours, happy Thanksgiving.